Good day, beautiful soul. Matt here. Welcome to day six of our 30 days of money journey. Today is all about exploring what role actions have in manifesting our financial goals so that we can take aligned action towards creating the wealth or really anything else. So let's dive in. So wealth creation is really an inside out process or creation of anything, really. It starts with a shift in our being, our state of being, which leads to changes in our thinking and our speaking and finally our acting, our doing. And this sequence followed intentionally leads to the manifestation of really anything. It's a great way to achieve our goals. So let's better understand this manifestation process so that we can cultivate a balanced approach on our journey of manifesting our heart's deepest desires in the realm of money. This is a great quote by Edwin Chapin who said, every action of our lives touches on some chord that will vibrate in eternity. Ooh, that gives me chills. Every action of our lives touches on some chord that will vibrate into eternity. Speaking of which, our prosperity physics for the day is to explore this quantum physics realm. Everything we think, every action that we take has a specific vibration and does echo through all of eternity. So these vibrations interact with the universe on a quantum level. In the study Quantum Coherence and Conscious Experience, there's a geneticist, Mao Wan Ho, describes how consciousness can be correlated with the collapse of the quantum wave function, which is a process that essentially involves a leap from possible to actual. So when we have a strong emotional intention behind our thoughts, our desires, and then act upon it, our entire being vibrates in alignment with this intention. This process influences the quantum realm to bring about the physical manifestation of our desires, aka dollar dollar bills in the bank account. But it's not as simple as think positive and, and positive things will happen. But it does suggest that by consciously aligning our state of being and our feelings and our thoughts and our words and our actions and pretty much every aspect of existence that we have control over, we can increase our potential to create the desired outcome of our lives. So what does this mean? I feel the key takeaway here is to combine our actions with our clear intentions, with positive emotions and our conscious thought. So by doing this, we're aligning ourselves with the laws of quantum physics and creating the circumstances for our desires to manifest in reality. So we can start by taking one small action step towards our goal today, whatever it may be, maybe getting cl more clear on our goal every day, an opportunity to get more crystallized vision of our financial goals so that we can better align it with our positive emotions and our negative emotions, just as important, um, and our intentions. Every action counts. Every action is a vibrational wave that we create into the world that sets the foundation for the outcome of tomorrow. Let's meditate into this, but first our Mula mantra for the day, our small little nugget, pocket-sized nugget to put in our pocket to repeat throughout the day to remind us of our intention of how we want our actions to play out for the day is to embrace the imperfect step. This mantra invites us into the transformative dance between intention and action because it's very tempting to delay action until every circumstance aligns, but true progress comes from the courage to move even when the step is flawed. 
And we can understand that each step is more than a mechanical move. It's a, it's a vibrant expression of our inner state. So we're not just doing for the sake of doing, we are becoming as we act, even with imperfection, we're not only moving closer to our goals, but we're also honing our vibrational alignment with all of the forces that are in motion. So perhaps today, if you find yourself caught in an analytical spiral of whether or not to act and just kind of like caught in, in perfectionism, remember, embrace the imperfect step. Embrace the imperfect step. This mantra serves to tap us on the shoulder as a reminder that the uncertain step is better than the perfect step never taken. Our actions, no matter how imperfect, can always be refined, but can never be replaced if never taken. So let this serve as a reminder to propel us, to teach us, and most of all, to free us into the beauty of taking the imperfect step. Moving into our mint meditation for the day. Today's meditation is designed to help us align our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions with the vibration of what we wish to manifest. It, it's going to be a short but powerful blend of visualization, affirmation, and focused attention that's all about taking inspired action. So let's begin by finding a comfortable position wherever we are maybe just adjusting our posture, sitting upright, relaxing our muscles onto our structured bones, maybe just finding a little more alignment, feet flat on the ground, getting rooted into the floor if that's possible for you. And just starting by taking a few deep breaths, inhaling peace and calm. Exhaling any tension or worry. Now I invite you to tune into the sensations of your body. Feeling the connection of your feet on the floor, of the weight of your body on your seat. Noticing the gentle rise and fall in your chest as you breathe. In this moment, you are here, fully present, grounded in the now. Gently allowing the mind to bring forth an image of what your heart desires in the realm of money, wealth, abundance, what is it that you desire? Picture this as vividly as you can, as if it is already here, already part of your life. What do you see? What emotions are arising within you? simply observing, letting it all wash over you. Now an invitation to whisper to your heart some words of affirmation out loud or silently repeating to yourself, I am prepared to take the necessary steps to fulfill my dreams. Each action I take brings me closer to my aspiration. Feeling these words resonating within you, aligning your heart, mind, and spirit. Now let's guide our attention to the actions that can take these aspirations into reality. Seeing yourself taking these actions, feeling the sense of accomplishment, 
the joy within every step you take, every milestone that you reach. Noticing the inevitable challenges that will surface. Seeing yourself show up to these challenges with curiosity, with acceptance, with action. As we close our meditation, let's sit with a sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the journey, for the courage to act, for the unfolding path towards our dreams. What an adventure. Breathing in this gratitude. And as we breathe out, just releasing it all, surrendering, surrendering. This journey of cultivating wealth, money, and abundance is not just about wishing for things to happen. It's a way of aligning our deepest desires with inspired action. With every step, we're not just dreaming, but we're enjoying the process of making our dreams a reality. Taking this energy, this intention with us as we make our way to our journal for a couple questions of self-inquiry, some rich reflections to bring this more into the 3D to observe ourselves a bit more. How would you describe your vibrational energy right now? How does what you're feeling align with your financial goals? What thoughts have been prominent in your mind lately about wealth and abundance? Are they positive? Are they negative feeling? Are they neutral? How do these thoughts influence your feelings and thereby actions about money? As we journal, it's always a good practice to consider the words and the phrases that we commonly use when associating with topics like wealth or money or whatever our financial situation is. Are these words empowering or are they limiting? Always an opportunity to change the words that we choose to speak more positively about our financial situation. Now let's identify some actions that we can take to um, bring us closer to our financial goals. What actions can help align with your vibrational state that we charged up in that sweet meditation, bringing us closer to those financial goals. Perhaps taking another moment to imagine yourself um, achieving these financial goals, really feeling how it feels. Can you cultivate that feeling right now? The mind is so powerful. And then how, working backwards, what steps what actions are appropriate to bring us closer to that financial goal. Moving into our prosperity pivot for the day, our journey towards creating wealth requires more than just dreaming big. It calls for this aligned action. And, you know, often our thinking, our speaking, our acting, um, can hinder our wealth and our prosperity. Perhaps there's an underlining fear that you might fail or an assumption that success only comes to certain kinds of people. Let's be really honest. Let's face these beliefs head on. This is what is getting in the way of our manifesting our financial dreams. And we can acknowledge these without judgment. We can just observe them with curiosity, understanding that these beliefs 
likely formed on past experiences don't have to define our future experiences. And we can have patience. That's why we come back to this every day. This is not a one and done dealio. It takes time to unlearn these beliefs. It really takes time to witness them, let alone unlearn them and replace them with more positive and empowering ones. So let's be patient with ourselves as we navigate this financial transformation from where we were to where we are to where we are going. Endless self-compassion, treating ourselves with the same kind of kindness and understanding that we would offer to a dear friend, understanding that the process of change is often uncomfortable. So self-compassion is really essential to create more of a nurturing environment that allows this transformation to take place. And finally, be brave. Take control of your financial future. Break free from the limiting beliefs with courage. You are stepping into the unknown, but you're doing so with intention and clarity and a true desire for change. So bravo, I commend you. That's a wrap on today's session. Great work for exploring the crucial role that actions have in manifesting abundance, in creating that cash flow in the bank. Let's remember as we journey forward into our day that every step we take, no matter how small, is part of our journey to financial success. As Vincent van Gogh says, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. So let's be gentle with ourselves, yet consistent in our efforts towards our financial goals. Community conversation prompt. I invite you to share with us what small action will you take today towards your financial goals? We would love to hear from you in the comments. I so look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we look for more concrete ways to nurture this financial forest that we're cultivating. Until then, peace, love, and action.